This is Artemis Launch Control at the completion of the Artemis One cryogenic demonstration test. I'm Daryl Nail with NASA Communications, and with all of the test objectives met, we have Charlie Blackwell Thompson with us, the launch director for the Artemis mission. Thanks for being here, Charlie. Charlie just wrapped up uh, comments with her uh, launch team after uh, a long day of testing and a challenging day at times, but overall, a lot of success. I want to get your thoughts, Charlie, on how the test went in your mind. Well, I think the test went really well. Um, we went into this test. We wanted to learn. Um, we wanted to evaluate the, um, the TSMU, the LH2 TSMU under cryogenic conditions, uh, understanding that we had done both an eight inch and a four inch seal uh, removal and replacement out at the pad. And um, we got into our loading operations. We had a new loading procedure that we had in place. It was very purposeful in the way in which we went through the loading ops. We wanted to be, we called it kinder, gentler, uh, where we really monitored the temperatures and the pressures across the interface. And uh, once we got into what we call our fast fill operations, we did notice as the pressure came up that we did see a leak uh, in the plate cavity uh, at the eight inch QD. We went through our pre-plan. We have utilized it a couple of times where we stop flow and uh, we allow it to warm up and then we reinitiate. Now when we reinitiated flow, um, we began to raise the pressures back up to get back into a fast fill configuration and uh, we are successful in that. So we did not see the same leak signature, which is uh, was wonderful. It allowed us to go through our loading profile all the way to uh, core stage replenish. We also loaded the upper stage today as well, went through our kickstart bleed, uh, went through our pre-press test. So all of the objectives that we set out to do, uh, we were able to accomplish today. And it was impressive uh, just to watch and uh, take in and listen to the engineers as they work through uh, those uh, leaks. Um, again, uh, just uh, impressive work. I wonder what your thoughts are on these seals, which as you mentioned were replaced. You're learning a lot. There's a lot of data yet to look at. Um, what are your early thoughts about how they're behaving and what a path forward might be? Well, I think you got to always take the data and go look at what it tells you. Um, one of the pieces of data very encouraging to me was as we raised the pressure, um, we actually saw the, the leak go down. And, On the uh, 8-inch QD. Yes. Yep. And, uh, and so this is a, a pressure seal, pressure-assisted seal. So that was very encouraging. Uh, and then, you know, we saw the leak rate really taper off. So we'll go take all the data from this uh, event, the early data, um, the data all the way through loading, through our pre-press test, the, the engineers and the team will go take a close look at that and, uh, and evaluate what we learned today. And then we'll certainly be applying that as we get ready for launch. The big question is, as you just mentioned, getting ready for launch. What does that mean? Um, and what, uh, what are the chances for a launch here on the 27th? Well, I think we'll take the data uh, and we'll go see what it tells us. I am extremely encouraged by uh, the test today, getting through all the objectives. And, uh, and we're setting up uh, in, our, in our scrub turnaround to begin replenishment ops in preparation for our launch day. Um, well, like I said, we'll go take a look at the data. I think I don't want to, I don't like to get ahead of the data. And so I'd like the team to have the opportunity to go look at it, to see if there are changes we need to make to our loading procedure, our timelines, or if, uh, if we're, you know, good as is. But I'd like the team to have an opportunity to look at that before I speculate. And last question on uh, the team itself. Um, you know, as, as we encountered that first leak, you could kind of feel the room deflate just a little bit. And then uh, as they worked it and got past it, um, uh, you know, there was a lifting, uh, so to speak, of the room. I talk about kind of what you went through uh, when you were observing this and, and what you saw your team and how they reacted. 
Well, I'm really proud of the team. I, I think they reacted well. Um, it, you're going to be disappointed when you see a leak, and I think that's normal. But what they did is they went and looked at what are our contingency procedures? What do we have in place? How do we work our way through it? And um, they went through those ops just as I would expect them to do. And, uh, and we were successful in managing our way through it. And you're right, uh, as we began to see that those contingency procedures were successful, uh, certainly there was a, a lift within the room. But uh, I couldn't be more proud of the team today and, and the work that they did. And so uh, now you march on and, and get that data, take a look at it, and uh, see where it uh, leads us. Uh, Charlie Blackwell Thompson, Launch Director for Artemis, Appreciate you being here. Thanks for taking the time. And that'll wrap it up for us here at uh, NASA TV in the Kennedy Space Center. Our launch, uh, or I'm sorry, our test coverage uh, complete today.